Hi, let's take a couple of minutes to look at the Oracle Linux auditing system and how it is used to track and report user activity and system operations for your Oracle Linux system. Implementing security rules, you allow the auditing system to monitor user and system events. It records any violations to the security rules that you have defined and configured for the system to use. The auditing system only reports on violations triggered by events that do not conform to your defined rules. Auditing is about hardening the security of your system by tracking security events. It is not used for monitoring or auditing the system performance. It is important to remember that monitoring for rule violations and the logging of audit information uses the processing resources of the system, and extensive auditing can have an impact on system performance. Because of this potential system performance impact, auditing is not enabled by default in an Oracle Linux system. Careful planning of the required auditing rules and proper testing of each audit rule is highly recommended. With the correct implementation of security rules and event logging, auditing is an effective method for monitoring user activity and tracking system operation. The auditing system has many command utilities to support various auditing, reporting, and other supporting functions. Audit CTL, AU Search, and AU Report are the ones you will most commonly use. Audit CTL allows you to configure the auditing process and create audit rules. AU Search and AU Report allow you to search the audit log for violation event information and create summary reports from the log. There are a number of other useful utilities also provided to support your auditing implementation. The Oracle Linux Audit Daemon is called Audit D. It takes care of the auditing functions, tracking rules, violations, and writing event information to the audit log file. Another daemon called AUDISPD is the Audit Dispatcher daemon. It relays audit event notifications to audit analysis systems and applications on remote machines for real-time analysis. Here are the files and directories typically used by the Oracle Linux auditing system. In the etc audit directory, you find the auditd.conf file. This provides the configuration information for the audit daemon. Also in this directory is the audit.rules file, where you can define the audit rules to be used to monitor for violations. There is also the rules.d directory, which will contain any additional rules files you want the system to use during auditing. In the etc AUDISP directory is the audispd.conf file, which provides configuration information to the audit dispatcher daemon. And there is the var log audit directory, which contains the audit.log file, where information on all audit rule violations are stored. To configure and run the Oracle Linux auditing system, you first install the audit package and its dependencies with a simple yum install audit command. The package also installs some default rules files in the user directory. These you can use at your discretion. The audit daemon is pre-configured with useful default settings, but it can be further modified for your specific auditing requirements. You define your audit rules to the audit.rules file or in separate rules files placed in the rules.d directory. Remember, you can define rules with the audit ctl command, but rules configured this way will not persist after a reboot. The audit service can be started and stopped by using the service command, and the systemctl command can be used to have the audit d service start when the system boots. Creating any of the three control, file system, or system call security rules is easy. It can be done using the audit ctl command from the command line. But remember that rules created from the command line are lost if you reboot the system. And as earlier mentioned, for persistent rules, Create them by editing them into the audit.rules file. You simply write rules into the file with the same syntax as used with the auditctl command. Or you can create various rules files which you then store in the rules.d directory. The log file containing rule violation information is quite detailed. And for those new to auditing, it is important to familiarize yourself with the information it contains and how to read it. Using keyword association when defining rules makes it easier to identify specific rule-related information in the log file, and also when using the AU search command utility to examine and extract specific log information. Of course, there is man page information for the auditing utilities and help options to provide detailed information for the commands. With the audit report utility, AU report, you can generate easy to read summary reports of the information stored in the audit log.
You can find more information on the Oracle Linux auditing system from these Oracle resources. From general information on auditing to specific configuration and implementation details. There is excellent information in a series of videos on Oracle Linux auditing in the Oracle Linux Learning subscription. This comprehensive subscription provides you with information on this and a wealth of other key Linux topics in an easy to search library. With easy to consume videos that bring you everything you need to know in your role as a Linux system administrator. You can find more information on auditing in the Oracle Linux documentation. For example, look for the Administrator's Guide and the Security Guide for information on implementing auditing. In the Oracle Technical Network, there are popular technical articles such as Tips for Securing an Oracle Linux Server, which provides more information on auditing an Oracle Linux system. Thanks for watching.